Let's go to Wellington. New Zealand will have to wait until next week to find out who's going to form the next government. Winston Peters confirmed the New Zealand First Board won't meet until Monday to consider proposals from both National and Labour after five days of intensive negotiations wrapped up last night. Party officials from National and Labour are now on standby to meet as soon as the New Zealand First Board signs off on one of the proposals. The party's caucus has been meeting at Parliament today to consider what a government led by National or by Labour might look like. Our political editor, Jane Patterson, filed this report. Right, look, we've worked overnight and early in the morning uh, and uh, with the objective of getting as much completed in terms of a summation both for the caucus uh, and the board's point of view. Uh, that includes doing the fiscals as far as we can go. And, uh, Sporting a TGIF, thank God it's Friday tie, Winston Peters took a break from today's New Zealand First Caucus meeting to brief the media about what will happen next. Members of the board will be, because of the time frame that takes a lot of work still to go, will be flying in on Sunday and early Monday morning for a joint uh, caucus and board meeting on all day Monday. That's about the update, all the update I can give you at this point in time. Do you expect uh, that board meeting to take a long time? Well, they're booked in for the night if we have to. <laughs> but if, we should, if we've done enough work, the uh, consideration that happens on Monday should take far less than the time we're doing, uh, with, that we're involved with now. Winston Peters was asked how soon he would make an announcement after the board meeting was finished. Well, I hesitate to give you an answer to that question because it's totally difficult to meet timelines particularly on this matter, that if you're jamming a timeline up against a public statement of a date when, uh, and, and, you, and you compromise the quality of your decision, sure. that would not be a very good idea. But it, we know time's of the essence. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's the need to go and find out the next government? The Labour leader Jacinda Ardern arrived at Parliament this morning with little to say. Can you confirm that you have a mandate from the caucus rather than having to take it to them with any deal? Uh, we have our own process which we'll be following, but actually overall I'd say this has been a good process that's been followed. Are you meeting with the Greens today? Morning. Any updates on anything? No. The Green Party is negotiating directly with Labour and will not see the agreement Labour's planning to strike with New Zealand first before signing off on its deal. Its 150 delegates came together via teleconference yesterday for an initial briefing, but its leader James Shaw said as of this morning a final deal with Labour had not been nailed down. There's still bits and pieces that we need to tidy up, but we've got through the bulk of it. So it's not, so it's not, it's not completely. So once, once it is signed off, that is the point at which you call the executive council. Yeah, that's right. So you're just in that last sort of phase. That's right. We're nearing the end stages, and at this point, I, I think that you know, I, I don't foresee any great trouble. While James Shaw would not comment on specific negotiations, he still favours a coalition deal with Labour, which would mean a seat at the cabinet table. The risk, however, for smaller parties is that they are then unable to criticise any aspect of government policy. Our life is fraught with risk. Uh, and pretty much any scenario contains risks uh, for the life of the party. But I, I think you've got to get above that as well. You've got to say, well, you know, what are we trying to do here? Right? We're trying to create some good for the country. It's not all about us. It's not all about the future of our party. It's actually about what's good for the country uh, and what is the model of government that is going to best deliver on that. Labour's 20-member executive council, which includes representatives from the caucus, remains on standby and could come together to consider a deal at very short notice. The National Party says its board and caucus would be involved in the ratification process. Its senior whip, Jamie Lee Ross, says there's no caucus meeting scheduled for now, but when there is a need, either the leader Bill English or he as whip will call MPs together. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Jane Patterson.